Are you sick of not having ice in your house or in your dorm or using the freezer ice cubes where you gotta break them but you only get a certain amount and then they're gone and it takes hours for it to freeze back up? I think I got a solution for you. Let's check out this portable countertop ice machine. What's up buds? Welcome to Wanna Buy. My name is Rodney and today we are talking about the AG Lucky portable countertop ice machine. So you can move this anywhere. I had it in a different area not too long ago. We moved it here. Um, so let's go through it. I'm gonna tell you my time of using this. I've been using this for about six months now. Um, I really love this thing. It came in clutch because we, me and my wife do stay in an apartment and we don't have like a, a, a expensive fridge or a huge fridge that has a little ice machine thing. I don't even think we got the hookups for that in our apartment. I think it just has the plug. So we came up with this solution and it came in handy. So let's break it down. All right, so when it comes to the price, you're gonna be looking at $120. But right now I see it on Amazon, you can't save $40 with the coupon. Right under the price, you'll see a little square box. Click that, save $40 and get it in a nicer range for you guys. Um, it does come in three different colors. It comes in this gray that you see here. It comes in black and it also comes in red. So one thing that is, it is claiming that in 24 hours, it'll make like 26 pounds of ice or whatnot. Um, I don't doubt it. It does pump out the ice uh, frequently and a lot. You do have to fill it up, of course. I'm pretty sure you guys know that. Or if you don't, now you know. So you do fill it up. So you just open the lid and then you'll have a max line in here. So you'll see the max line and you just fill up the water to that. Now, I normally use bottles of water. Um, for me and my wife, two just regular sized bottles of water gets the job done. But you can also use, you know, filter water, faucet water. You can just have those little dollar jugs ready to go to fill this up as well. So to operate the machine, very easy. You just plug it up, you turn it on, have the water already in there ready to go. And then it'll let you choose, um, you can choose small ice or large ice basically by pressing select. And that's basically all you have. Um, it comes with this scooper, so you just scoop your ice out when you're ready to go. And then it also uh, comes with the tray that you drop in there, and then the tray is where you'll catch the ice. So, and then you'll just scoop it out and you'll be good to go. I don't really just leave my thing right there, you have it somewhere else. Um, but that's how I do it, and you just let the ice keep pumping and going. There's no specialty, nothing you really do. I normally keep it on large ice but you can choose the select button and switch it to small ice. Another thing I wanna add is when it comes to the sound, it's very quiet. Normally the most sound that you're gonna hear is the ice being dropped into the tray. It's not an annoying sound, it's not loud while it's making it. Um, I don't personally think it's loud. It's a very quiet ice maker, but most of the time you'll hear it when the elevator for the ice is coming up and then when it um, drops it, and goes back down that's about it other than that you really won't hear it so when it comes to how long it takes to make the ice i'll say about 30 minutes 40 minutes you'll get a little bit of ice probably enough for like two people and then about an hour you get a you know more a good amount like half of the tray will be full and then about an hour 45 when we did the timer it was like hour 45 and then you get almost a full thing of ice and after that you'll be set so as you can see right here when you take the tray out it's like half of below half of water left and normally we just fill it up with another water bottle and then it'll put it right there by that max line so this is basically a full tray of ice and this is how much water is left so it'll keep producing for you definitely if you're going to plan when people are coming definitely plan an hour um, ahead of time to get your ice ready to go. So normally when I walk in the house, like I know when my wife gets home at whatever time she normally gets home from work, I'm like, all right, I'm gonna just start the ice maker now, start cooking, and then the ice will just pile up. And if you're gonna have people over for drinks and stuff, you guys, football games, anything, just know like, all right, they'll be here in about 30 minutes, I'll start the ice now, start it 40 minutes before they get here, and just do what you do. You don't have to worry about nothing. There'll be a stack of ice ready for you, ready to go. And I will say the ice, um, it's not the thickest ice like you know like the cube ones last a little bit longer or that density is way stronger on those cubes when it comes to uh, Cleaning it when you're done with it. I would try to just keep making ice You can let it stand for another day if you want to I'll just pour it out because you don't want to go a couple of days with with it Just standing water in there and then I'll just dump it out Make sure you don't get the plug or nothing wet Just lean it over the counter pour it out and I like to wash it with a uh, paper towel and get it dried in there as well. After um, you know a couple of weeks of use, you can get some soap and then water, sponge, whatever, wash it out, uh, pour cups of water in there and just dump it and just keep doing it again, dumping it until you feel like you got all the soap out and then use a paper towel to dry it off before you put it back again. One thing you do have to do when it fills up, you do have to start pushing the ice out of the way because if, it, if the machine can't push the ice in or if there's something in the way, it will stop even though it's not filled all the way up. 
So just always go check on it and just move the ice away from the back. All right, so that is the portable ice maker. Yeah, so I think this is a great idea if you are in an apartment, a dorm, anything like that, um, because you got the ice that's gonna just be making the ice for you while you do other stuff. You don't have to worry about having the little tray, taking up room in your freezer, and then it takes forever when you finally, you know, put water in the cubes to freeze over. It takes like three, four something hours. But then with this, it's gonna be pretty quick, you know, the hour, hour and a half, you'll get a almost a half a tray to a full tray of ice and it'll have you covered. But like I said, always plan ahead. You know, if you got people coming over, definitely an hour, you know, before they come over, just pour some water in there, turn it on and let that bad boy run and get your ice ready for your get together, whatever, make sure everyone has their cold drinks. And then um, if you're, you know, cooking for the fam that night, just turn it on right before you start cooking and get it rolling or turn it on before you go get the ingredients to the store. And then when you come back, the ice will basically almost be filled up for you. So that is it. All right, but so click the link down below and check this out. Don't forget to click the coupon to save $40. And when you guys click that link, I do get a commission for it for sending you over there. It makes Amazon have to pay me. It doesn't come out of your guys' pockets other than you buy an ice maker, of course. But um, that is that. And if you guys wanna check out some more of my videos and click that right here, hopefully we get some more ice makers on this channel. I'll reach out to some companies because I know they got the little cube ice and I really want one of those, so we'll reach out to them and see if we can get it on this channel. If you guys like this video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe. My name is Rodney. This is Wanna Buy It. Peace.